their VH1's 40 most shocking celebrity mugshots. Oh! When America's Next Top Model finalist Shandy Sullivan was arrested for robbery in Kansas City, the true crime was how completely unfabulous she looked. What'd she do, get arrested for going through a metal detector with that thing in her mouth? <laughs> American Pie cutie Natasha Lyonne was busted for drunk driving, careless driving, leaving the scene of an accident, and looking disheveled in a mugshot. Like, what's that face? Express yourself, don't repress yourself. Georgia State Troopers clocked Chris's 2005 Bentley booking down Interstate 20 at 109 miles per hour. He finally gets pulled over, and what does he say? I was late for church. The old eye was heading to church routine. Bergen County, New Jersey cops nabbed all blue eyes for seduction under the promise of marriage. I ain't gonna marry you, girl. You gave up the milk before I bought the cow. When you're seven feet tall and you expose yourself to anybody, that's gonna be a traumatic experience. Ultimately, the case was dropped due to insufficient evidence. So what does that really mean? Is it not really that big a show? For now, the man known for his signature choke slam must learn to live with one ugly mugshot. I don't know what the choke slam is, but if he had insufficient evidence for exposing himself, then it couldn't have been that much of a choker. The cops also found some Xanax and sleeping pills with no prescription. He looks like he needed those sleeping pills. Good lord, poor thing looks like he hadn't slept in weeks in this picture. He was fined $1,180 and got two years probation. But his true punishment was Divine's review of his member. Then the hooker has to tell everyone on a scale of one to 10, I give him a six. Was that inches? Oh, you. Mm. Tawny got into an argument with her then husband, Chuck Finley, and attacked him with her high heeled shoe. Ah, Tawny, ah, I didn't do it, I swear to God. Ah! Yasmin got off with a light sentence of two years probation and 100 hours of community service, but that mugshot is punishment enough. I think she went to the same hairdresser as Nick Nolte and James Brown, but at least her eyebrows were tweezed. VH1's Top 40 Videos of 2005. I think the room is a little symbolic of her life. You know, there's some kind of havoc going on where she's suddenly out in this grass. It's like life and the things that happen to you. It just kind of surrounds you until you're covered in it. But then that breeze just comes in and blows the curtains and you just breathe. And I like the whole voyeurism of Alejandro Sanz, the sexy neighbor kind of looking in. This video is a clear expression of you don't have to have all the hoopla and the dancers and the naked people. You just got to have a message. Hoping that we don't lose sight of what makes us special. Dave Matthews is kind of becoming this generation's Bruce Springsteen. He sings American ballads about American people. Our beauty as the American culture is our diversity. You have to pay fair. They do all that, you know. Don't you, baby? Don't you. Check it out. Whenever you see a Black Eyed Peas video, it's like this funky, phantasmagoric experience. It's like a modern day fairy tale, you know, like everything's a party in the Black Eyed Peas world. Talk about karma now, Alicia Keys got some good karma going on. All them Grammys and the hits. This is VH1's Top 40 Videos of 2004. Yeah, it's party music. Ashley's trying really hard to be the anti-Jessica Simpson, you know, the dark hair and the punk shirt. Ashley is definitely living proof that brunettes have more fun. So Jessica, look out. It must be hard to be in Jessica's shadow with that rack and those lungs. You definitely got to stand out on your own. And I think Ashley managed to find her own spirit and be successful at it. This me. They're battling it out. And they were moving. Can you just see like, <laughs> These girls are soul sisters. <laughs> They will be together, I think, forever. They'll be friends forever. Well, I was waiting for Olivia Newton-John to pop out any minute, but instead we got Paula Abdul. What is all about smell of poo-poo? <laughs> I was expecting something a little more, you know, street-worthy there. Welcome to Glamour's 50 biggest fashion do's and don'ts. I think holiday sweaters are honestly really cheesy. Throw it down the chimney and burn it. You don't want excess skinnage popping over where the dress ends or the top ends or the pants end. 